Yes, I did it. I think I did it. Did I do it? Did you do it? I done did it. You did it. Good evening, mofos. The cover art just destroyed my jorts. That was the intention. I'm very proud of that new thumbnail. So many ounces of awesomeness. Uh, what up, Cole? Cole, you still here? That was quite a while ago. That was at 11.04 a.m. Mom, just in Ohio, ground fog. A lot of early, early on comments. What's up, Constantine? Virgo! You want merch of this thumbnail art, huh? Hmm. You like stacky. That would be a sick shirt. What do you guys think? Shirts can be spendy. I don't know if I want to do the print on demand. I kind of what like that. People, right. people are digging the uh, the artwork. Oh, the Talking about putting it on some shirts, possibly. It's it's always a conversation, I suppose. Uh, I lost where I was with my comments. Yeah, uh, with the time change, uh, we fall back an hour, actually. So we started this during daylight savings time, however long ago. And we were going normally at 10.10. 10. Uh, and then when things fall back an hour... It's still an hour earlier for us, but not Maddie. We stay at uh, the Prince's time. So, Prince's? I, I, address all, send all complaints in a self addressed stamp and blue. Isn't and it 10 o'clock for you now? Yeah. Yeah, so you're with me now. We're together. Yeah, I'm fine That's with it. Touching. But, uh, Paul, you know what I really have to say to that? I don't know what I really, really, really have to say to that. He's not even here. He went to bed. Well, good. Because, Paul, you need to... Stop whining. 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 That's for you, Paul. That's for you. Now I don't know what we were listening to. How about this? Stevie's coming out of Pacific Northwood. Oh, that would work for you, Phil. Loud. There we go. It was a little loud. Though. Hey, yeah. stop whining. Stop Stevie's whining. Stevie's taking forever. So Demon Ock, Work Knife, One Moon, Mina <laughs> Milton, Loot. <Dude. laughs> I'm turn. taking forever. Todd Carr, Drinkwater, Jay, Space Coast, Constantine. Funny how when, <laughs> when he's not begging for us to be on his live stream, he takes forever. We have to wait like 45 minutes to start a conversation. And I'm, let me get caught up real quick. <laughs> yeah, I have to oh. Don't forget my socks. Oh, Hi. All right. Chef Rocky in the house. Rocky. So the talks. A love story by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mom, what is this link you post? I don't know the link. I wonder if it's pornography. Uh, it's very possible. Right? Let's see here. I'll click it. I just clicked it. You just posted the link to our live stream. Thank you for everybody in the chat. Make sure you click on that link. <laughs> click that link. It'll take you to the chat <laughs> that you're currently in. What's up, Rocky? Here, what did I say? Here I sit broken hearted, came to ship and only farted. And then the day I took a chance, went to fart. But shit, my pants. It's a beautiful poem. It is. Lou, what's up? Rhymes. 
real 210. How it ain't. Mad Hatter. You like it? You like it? Talk you more, like, what up? You have any the cards that fell? No. Neil McKenzie. Neil! Neil, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to uh, take up so much of your time. They fell down there somewhere. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Well, team, all is good, brother. Hope all is well with you, too, sir. Ground dog. Yes. Evie got me craving dicks. That's the original Orion, Eli. I need that. Got you craving them dick, huh? I did uh, treat myself tonight. Drinkerton H2O. Good evening. Anyway, uh, what's up, loot? Find the Milton, uh, Demonog. What artwork are we talking about here? Uh, we're just talking about the artwork uh, for the thumbnail of the live stream this evening. New breed. What's up, Jay? What's going on, Flickers? Kathleen Smith, uh, Pacific Standard Time, PST. Hey, stop waiting. Uh, I think I'm just about... What up, Pedro? <laughs> Edgy American. Are y'all watching Guy Ritchie, the Gentleman series on Netflix? Uh, Stacy is, and she tells me I need to be watching it, too. Well, hang on, hang on. There, there's actually more to this. Here you go. I'll skip ahead just for a second. <laughs> and then the last part. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> Got to have more cowbell. What's up, Steve? Steve Claire. Oh, yeah, I saw one moon, right? Yeah, one moon. Is one moon in the hizzy? Hi, Stevie of things being said. <laughs> Whose logo is that? Aries, EDC. Nafnet69. Nafnet. There's the sharp guy. Finally got away from the glory holes. That's what I call a double deluxe. Um, I posted that Instagram reel and posted it as a YouTube short. The YouTube short said uh, uh, I, it can't be monetized because I'm violating community standards. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's good? Are uh, Ian? Uh, when you tuck tail and leave uh, the P and W, are you gonna end up uh, close to Luke and Sharp Guy? Luke oh, is he Sharp Guy? How far are you guys from each other? Has Ian decided he's leaving yet? I think he said the other night that he's gonna. Oh, I missed that part. Ian, you moving? Where are you going to Texas? Abandoned ship. You going to Tay House? They don't take kindly to Teslas out there. Yeah, yeah, they do. Shut up. They do. Uh, freaking, what's his name? Ooh, he's the coming. Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Of all the towns you could have went to, you chose the worst. You're going to be so close to Brand. Best friends. You could. He can ride in your Tesla, and you can ride on his horse. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see video of 
Ian and Brant side by side trotting on on uh, horses. And Ian's got a cowboy hat on with a big old uh, string of hay hanging out of his mouth. And he dips his hat. You know what, though? I bet you Brant is probably like a world class like horse wrangler. Jade! <laughs> He's, hey, do Blame it on it on so like double D. I lived in Dallas Fort Worth for three years. Thankful for Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ian Bear. Uh, I gotta say I've I've only been to Fort Worth once. And I stayed in downtown. But I spent like five, six days down there. It was one of the nicest like cities I had been in in a long time. I really dug Fort Worth. But anywho, how is everybody's Friday uh, treating you? Uh, it's already Saturday morning for most of you by the sounds of all the whining. You know, I cheated on my diet today. I did too. I didn't want to, but it started, like, I already knew I was going to because uh, Urban invited me to go on his live earlier. And uh, he had sent me these beaver nuggets. Oh. And I ate one, and as soon as I ate it, you can't eat one. No, you can. You can't. It's a literally physically and legally impossible. All doing well, eh? <laughs> like the Austin. Good evening, eh? I also been having a video trying to upload, but it won't upload. Well, looky, looky. There's I, Donnie Bless. I filmed two videos today, and one of them just won't upload. Uh, are you uploading it from your device? Or My phone. Your phone? That's where I usually upload it. Oh, really? I do all my stuff on my... On so my, I, uh, call it. Well, I filmed two videos, and the first one uploaded, like, no problem. But the second one was on the Neptune. And every time I try, it won't upload this one. Have you tried harder? I, I might. Try again. Video. Maybe I won't call it Neptune. Let me call it something else. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's see. We will. Who is now uploading? I'm glad Bucky's isn't going to be that close. I'll give it time. That first one's going up in Goodyear. And then it's only a, a matter of time. Yeah, fried chicken livers. Do you know how many beavers it takes to make a small bag? Uh, four. Mark Parks? What up, Mark Parks? Pedro, what's happening? Uh, I told Vince that I'm coming to Huntsville. And he instantly said, we're going to Bucky's like two different times. It's That's probably going to be cool. Uh, I'm only there for like 12 hours. And Vince has eight meals planned. And we're, uh, he's like, uh, Vince is just a hoot. Shout out to Semper Fi and ECI. Grateful Panic and Shane. It's going to be a, going to be a hoot nanny for sure. Oh, Ian. They finally opened up one 15 minutes down the road and I've been begging the fam. I don't want to go in by myself, but I've been begging the fam to go in there. Me and Ian went, we were there for so long. We're like, all right, we'll have one more. And they're like, eh, I don't think so. We're like, no, we'll take one more. 
be like, uh, you've been here for a while. I've never been to a Bucky's, but everyone talks about Bucky's like it's heaven. So I can't wait to try it. Apparently, they have a brisket bar, and uh, I'm a fan of brisket. And Shane, that's all he keeps talking about. Barbara. Winchester! Oh, but yeah, name one town with just one Bucky's in it, or one big city. It'll catch oh, on. There'll be one catching people going to Flagstaff, one catching to go to Tucson. We don't got them over here. Yet. Yet. I don't know where they'd put them. Probably next to the highway. Yeah, there are already got big old spots. Why didn't we stop when we were in the south? I asked you guys many, many times. Why wouldn't we have, though? You and Cubo just kept saying, we'll get the next exit. The next exit never came. Next thing you know, we were there in Atlanta. Never came. Huh. Kathleen, yeah. <laughs> it's just an effing gas station. Truck stop. It is. You must not be a hot dog connoisseur. There's more to gas stations than gas. It's high quality meats made out of miscellaneous meat-like substances. All I really need for gas station food is a uh, two hour old barbecue beef burrito and uh, one of the like the crispy chicken flutas. Fautas. That's all I need. So look, I didn't call it Neptune. I called it Poo. It's finally uploading. Oh. Troy Lamapo up in the house. The one and only Troy Lamapo. What's good, Troy? What's good? The artist formerly known as Tree Stabber. You can't see it too well, but behind that YouTube logo, he put himself a mustache. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. You need a beret now, too. Huh. Ooh, what is this? Work that backwards. I was going to click it, but I don't even have the thing open. Oh, the Cochise. I saw someone talking about that earlier. The what? The Cochise by uh, AZ USA. This. <clears throat> I think it's crazy that they came out with uh, a, a knife that has that many buttons. It's like a five-time button lock. You know what that is? One, two, three, four, five on that one? It's gotta be. It's the only thing that makes sense. That's gotta be one fast knife with all those speed holes. I don't know. That's not, uh... <laughs> that's not really thing, floating my boat or tickling my face. One thing Blast actually likes. <laughs> no. Just in case you break one. <laughs> uh, did you check out the kangaroo farm yet, Stephen? It's even closer to you than it is to me. Also, speaking of gas station food, work knife balance. Uh, as you head out on the highway uh, gonna by your neck of the woods, you come to a Chevron, and there they sell bacon-wrapped kielbasas in there, where gas station food is good.
Yeah, it is only like five minutes away from you. This is what I was wondering too. Yeah, <laughs> no, they have it. Uh, it's a wildlife uh, sanctuary. Oh, jeez. <laughs> King Tut, right. <laughs> he must have won a Grammy being buried in his jammy. <laughs> King Tut, welcome to the stage, that funky Tut, the one, the only, Marif Shangadas. <laughs> I like that on everybody. <laughs> And you're singing like Arabian music. <laughs> oh, Stevie's frozen. <laughs> Stevie is frozen in shock. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> uh, uh, everyone, get a good look at this. Today on the History Channel. <laughs> I'm not saying, saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. <laughs> King Tut, did you actually have a knife made out of star metal? Yes, out of a meteorite that landed at my feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're you're ancient Egyptian. You don't know meteorite. You just know star metal, all right? <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> you dare question the King Tut. <laughs> <laughs> No live in the lab tomorrow? You're going to the zoo? Well, do you want to come on our live right now? Hey, come on up, Lou. We got, we got King, King Tut. Tut in the zoo, too. So, uh, King Tut, who killed you? You died awfully young, but you don't look yeah. young. No, I have been reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> King Tutosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> <It's been good. laughs> Sucker Reef Penny Gannis. <laughs> so there, there's a little bit of a weird racist sort of story behind this that's like hilarious. Oh, my most funny racist, racist stories. stories. <laughs> yes. Those are my favorite wow. kind of racist stories. <laughs> so, my, dad, with Sharif. my dad ordered some shower heads from Timu, and Timu incorporated a free gift, which you are looking at right now. <laughs> what? Just randomly sent you yes. that? Completely you got randomly. Timu racially profiled you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're hey. like, oh, it's got a right our data sets. We think that he is Egyptian. Hillary. They ran your name through 23andMe. Random gift. <laughs> they got it right, though. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, loot, you're doing CAD. You too good for us now, loot. Big time knife designer and CAD worker. <laughs> you want to hang out with us, low life racists, apparently? Fuck you, ENG. I'll eat your horse. <laughs> Tickle me, Cheeto. King poop and common. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Do not let the the Sharif jokes die. Let them keep up. Mark H. Oh. EMG, I don't have to worry. TikTok is going to get banned by the government. It's all good. <laughs> For those of you just walking Ooh. in, Stevie and I are not the racist. Uh, Timu is. Timu is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sharif. Sharif. <laughs> he was a victim, man. Sharif's the That's victim. Exactly. I was <laughs> the victim of racial profiling by Timu. <laughs> Racist. 
first Egyptian ninja. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I could. Hold on. Oh, we we oh, can combine them. <laughs> Just starting working a pyramid in Modesto. <laughs> 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 now we have an Egyptian What's Egg a an Egyptian ninja this is comical <laughs> <laughs> with glasses <laughs> with glasses <laughs> you need to go rob a bank <laughs> look at <the> show <laughs> <laughs> oh god Uh, chain chain. There uh, we go. Hankins, yes. Hankins, yes. Oh, just jumped. Yeah, Rocky. I want an Egyptian coin. <laughs> also, can we take a, a moment to acknowledge Chino's new name, Tickle Me Cheeto? Tickle That's I, a good I one. Said like, I said it like five times. <laughs> I was laughing at Sharif, so I heard nothing for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, how can you hear anything when this is going on? Yeah. <laughs> you look like a G.I. <laughs> Joe. You're, like a, like, you're a G.I. Joe villain. I feel like Cobra Commander for some reason. He's like all the leftover pieces. They're like, we need a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> all the leftover pieces. With all the leftover pieces with poor eyesight. He's a ninja oh, what's Pharaoh, our uh, yeah, and he has bad eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing sucks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> I can I can speak like that How about that. <laughs> uh, you asked for some. <laughs> I click it. Okay. <laughs> we do it. Oh. Cobra la 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 la. Cobra la 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 la. Oh man, that is what, excellent. What will they think if someone walks in the live right now? <laughs> the Egyptian ninja was glasses it'll, it'll be that little kid that baby meme of him walking down the hallway and be like nope <laughs> turns right back around oh man <sighs> only for said faction only for said faction what did tiktok do now i don't know uh the boomers are all against it. Oh. Sharif, yes. Next time you fly, do it in that outfit. Oh, God, no. Are you kidding me? I already get molested enough at the airport. You might as well have fun with it. I do not need any more molestation fuel. Sharif also gets randomly selected. Yeah. Exactly. St. Patty's is your anniversary? Awesome. That's awesome, Tori. I need to get us some corned beef and cabbage. Uh, I was oh. going to open this on Wednesday, but I forgot. So I'm going to open this now. It's from Doom. Do it. From Doom? Do it now. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Keep back in truth, Robin a bag. <laughs> All right. What's it going to be, Maddie? What's it going to be? I don't know. I mean, it's from Doom. It could be anything. Package hatchet. It could That's be anything. True. No face, no case. Exactly. Don Donnie gets it. There's an <laughs> envelope that says Marty. <laughs> There's a bead sticking out of this box. So now I'm curious. You know how uh, Doom likes his Doom Dads? <laughs> I was Did I download the wrong 
<laughs> What's up, Joseph? By the way, Stargate's free on YouTube right now. Oh, hey. I hope it's crispy gym socks. <laughs> Let's see, there's a little card in here. Or a yeah. sticker or something. What is this? Really? Open it and find out. That's the easiest way to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> it says this is a Maxace Panzer. DSKFS to me from Broke As Cole. Oh, oh okay. hey. I hope you enjoy it. If not, pass it along. Nice. That's what it is. I don't remember what the answer is. Oh, Zach. Zach. Have fun, brother. Have fun, dude. Ooh, look at this guy. I've never I seen this one. That's very interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's got a cool blade on it. It's a little guy. Nice. Uh, Max says Panzer. Off the list. I've never heard of them. <laughs> this one's a yeah. new one. Panzer's you... a tank, right? What's it's that? a German World War II tank. Oh, uh, yeah. Shreve definitely needs to stay off of the no fly list. This one's cool. Why did Cole send it? Is Cole even here? He was chode. earlier. It is a chode. I like this little guy. And uh, Doom put this... Looks like 3D printed, but it's green and blue. Matches the uh, scales pretty good. Nice. Huh. Yeah, you, when you get a package from Doom, you really, though, never know what you're going to get. You don't. I got a call from Doom once, and he was just like, hey, uh, can you give me coordinates to, like, one of your favorite places? I was like, what? He's like, yeah, like, the actual coordinates. I'm like, funny you should ask. I actually know the coordinates of my favorite place to go, like, my, my, my private range. So I gave it to him, texted it to him, and then, like, a month later, the, uh, the Ahab showed up yeah with the coordinates yeah and, and, the lady. Bead. and then the bead is yeah, we got a, a, a bigger fire yeah the perfect bead for stevie heck yeah yeah custom ahab from doom that was so cool though I remember Cole that. is here. Cole, did you win this and just pass it on? I like I this guy. Was doing something nice. <laughs> okay, he did. On. he did, but the Sphinx Commander. <laughs> no, nope, now we got <laughs> the Camel Commander. <laughs> oh. Is this cool? Why is he working so late? <laughs> <laughs> this is where he gets his best tips. <sighs> geocaching for a dive. Yeah, man. Do you still do geocaching, Eddie? Sometimes, yeah. Sphinx Commander, that is. That is sure. <laughs> okay, I'm my screen real quick. Those two, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see that. All right, let me find a bigger picture. These both Sphinx. I forgot all of a sudden, and I'm not even there. You want to my think? There we go. Let's see. Ooh, magic cards. There it is. Let's that's see. Like literally, yeah, that's, that's way. That's way bigger. 
It's the same size. It's How can I... the exact same size. Why is it not? That's the best I can do. I don't know why it's the same size in every website. Oh, that's way go. cool. There's Sharif's favorite action figure based on himself. Yeah, totally. <laughs> they look identical. I can, I can Dude, see somebody them. like get a mask like that for me. I will wear it. I'll wear it at Blade Show. That's cool. Thank you, buddy. This thing's pretty neat. In the that was mighty, mighty kind of you, Cole. Mighty kind yeah. of you. Oops. And I, I forget about the Ahab. The Ahab's so comfortable. It is. It's a good one. That I swear did. nobody was talking about this knife except for Maddie before it came out. Dude, and like it gets overlooked like so much, but yeah. it's a good knife. The, didn't they do like a V2 that had like something different with the screws? I believe so. And I think they changed the thumb studs. But these thumb studs are awesome. Yeah, I got no pro I got no problems with it. I don't want a V2. This is perfect. But uh what's his name? Uh Nick is it Nick Rogers? They designed this? No, um Nick something. I forgot his name all of a sudden, like niche or something, niche. Niche designs. But his name is Nick Rogers, I think. What's it? <clears throat> <In our? laughs> I talked to him about it. He actually commented on my video and said they were going to make some changes. That was a while ago, but he commented on my video of that little egress, or not little, but the egress. And uh, I never replied to him because that video was not nice to that night. Oh, really? It's just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes I feel bad when I don't like a knife and I end up re looking at it and checking it out. And <laughs> It happens though, man. You know? Like, you never... You gotta be prepared. Like, not everybody's gonna like your stuff. And that's just how it goes sometimes. It's the way of the road, bubs. Uh, when I when I talked to Kombu, um, the first time when I met Kombu, uh, he said, "What was it? I think it was the nuke." He was like, "You didn't like my nuke," and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, oh, yeah, you knew that." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah," but I was like, "But there's a bunch of other stuff that you got that I love." He's like, "It's okay." Oh, yeah. the nuke. Yeah, you hated that one. Yeah, it just wasn't for me. I didn't like, I didn't trash it, but. You were ruthless. I remember that. I was just, yeah. <laughs> also, Cole, did, did we agree that you would get the GEC? I thought we were all going to chit chat about it. Because who was it? You, Gary, and Cheeto? I should start a little Instagram group and we can we can chat about it. Just what we need. Another Instagram group. <laughs> we'll be in it. It'll be just the people who are getting these. You already have that group. Just say Steve, Patina, and Steve, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheeto is saying Cole can have the G E C and Gary We'll probably just say throw it on the ground. Oh, Gary. Gary doesn't think, want it. Gary would probably like this copper one anyway. You know what? I will send Cole the Gick. The Gick. The Gick. 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 So maybe Cheeto can have this cool little fixed blade then. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Cheeto, you want the fixed blade instead? Who'd you win all those from? On Instagram, Rusty Knife Lover did like a, it was a package oh. deal. So I won this one, the GEC. I forgot what this is, Rough Rider or something. And uh, 
a CRKT that <laughs> that little minimalist with the aftermarket scales. Oh yeah. Hey hey Kyle. You'll take it. Okay. So what I'll do hey. then. Oh sorry. No, I was just gonna say, uh Kyle, this is for you. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. <laughs> Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. <laughs> okay. You son of a bitch. Cheeto and Cole, I'm going to give <laughs> Gary... You're saying? You're saying? Cole will get the... Cheeto will get this, and I think this is the card for it. I think so. Short round number 13. Copper wash finish? What? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, it actually is. That's cool. It is? No shit? Look at it, though. You can see some copper in it. Oh. I've never seen a copper wash. Sure. Hold it closer. Whoa. I know you're being uh, mean and cruel for no reason, but it's actually pretty cool. It comes with this certificate. Oh. Ron Steele design. No way. 1084 <laughs> Polar. This has a cool little clip. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to invite me. Wait, did I hear Kevin talking about flashlights for a second? Uh, <laughs> the bead is a pretty hefty bead, too. It's got the same materials as scales and copper. It's actually a pretty cool knife. I'm going to keep that. Screw you, Cheeto. <laughs> Sight. After all of that. I'm just kidding. I would never do Cheetah like that. Oh, but you'll do me like that. Oh, he does my OTF, me. bro. You can only get yeah. so erect. The beat is cool. Is but it I've the never... material? That's the scales, but I've never seen copper wash. Uh, I really... I really, It kind of looks rusty on camera. In person, it doesn't look rusty. It looks really cool. Like, it changes blue to copper. Is that why he loved it? <laughs> That's why he had it. I'm just going to eat some olives. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have fun. I'll just uh, listen. It is not for me. Ooh. All right. All right, now I can give you guys my full attention. Attention. I was just putting on the Ritz, the Ritz a lever onto my scope. Is that a scope or LPVO? LPVO. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Pickle Yay. bet's still going. In it's... fact, yesterday... I, I sent Stevie a reel asking if he would try it. It was pickles deep fried in pancake batter. Oh. Why? No, yeah, I'm, not just, I'm not just going to try shit I know I'm not going to want to eat. <laughs> it might be good. It might be. I don't give a fuck if it is. I'm not going <laughs> to try it. The deal is you try one thing pickles. Yeah. You said you were going to send something to me. We didn't talk about, about bringing pancake batter into the mix. Uh, <laughs> the drum in Stevie's <laughs> voice. <laughs> no! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'd rather chomp on my own balls. Well, yeah. then do it. I'm going to send you pancake pickles. Are you? 
If you can't yeah, chop I'm, on your own balls, I'm sending you pancake pickles. Yeah, I'm gonna eat your eight day old soggy pickle pancakes that have been sitting at room temperature on your desk for four days prior to them being mailed. And that's after baking in the Phoenix post office. And then, yeah, <laughs> sign me up, coach. <laughs> might be good hey y'all preserve them cucumbers all you want man i ain't knocking it i ain't knocking it i just think you know, you know i think yeah the deal is he's gonna try a pickle <laughs> i think you have to take him to a like carnival for it has to be oh sorry Shreve. For like a pancake batter like pickle it would have to be fresh but oh hey chris uh he has to eat a pickle it can't be like a pickled carrot it has to be a pickled cucumber really in one shot but the rules did not say that we couldn't have it dipped in pancake batter just that he would eat a pickle in whatever condition we send it <laughs> yeah. Turning lines. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I don't know, Donnie Blitz. By the way, did y'all see that? Yeah, yeah. How's it feel in hand? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good. The the way. See. I, I, I've said I really like that swell there. Mm -hmm. Because of that, it keeps your... It keeps that part of the knife off. If anything, like, it's a almost like a, the, the top part of it becomes like yeah. a little bit of a ledge. But you don't feel it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I gotta order one of those. It, it does, go. you know... It definitely sticks past a little bit. And I'm so here's, here, here's the deal. Uh, the bottom mm. T6 uh, pocket clip screw that it comes with. Yeah. Won't, uh, it's too long. Yeah. Uh, so because, you know, it's not, it's not milled like the stock one is. Right, right. Uh, so the top one didn't have any problem. But I just used one of the spare P8 body screws. And so, you know, they're obviously, they're not flush fitting. So I, I guess if you had extra spare hardware, you could, but that yeah. doesn't bother me. And it slides in and out of pocket just fine. I wonder. Um, uh, I'm not, I, I'm not convinced I'm going to keep it on there because I do, I do like the pocket clip it came with. Yeah. But I really just wanted to not get you know, it. And I did order a sandblasted one just to kind of match the uh, bolsters and backspacer a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Dude. You know what was, was crazy was so earlier today, I was, um, I went to a car meet. I, I actually got out of the house and talked with other humans for the first time in like a month since this whole, oh, two months since this whole process so started. And... <laughs> Uh, so on my car Instagram, like I had shared some of the posts, you know, uh -huh. and dude, there's a guy with a Baja bug that I knew totally comes up to me out of nowhere. He's like, yo, bro, pocket check. Let me see that knife of yours. And I'm like, why is he saying pocket check? And he pulled out a Spidey chef. Oh, no. Nice. Like, oh, crap. And then another dude who was like nearby us at the time, he was like, oh, what, y'all into knives? Pulls out an S110V Manix 2. <laughs> I was like, dude, I came to a car meet and I ended up talking for like an hour about car about knife stuff. Totally random. Yeah. But it's not often that when you pocket check people, they're actually carrying some decent stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I was gassed, man. What the cool. heck is this thing? Did you sex him in the back of the Subaru? 
Oh. It's an unknown patch, Hank? Yes. Yeah. I put... <laughs> Urban sent me a patch, so I put it on mine. Nice. That's cool. Does... Did either of yours smell of cologne? I can't no. smell right now. Who's your secret admirer? Dude, so... I smell like butthole. Luke was my... Um, my proxy at the event at uh, Blade Show Texas, where these were the drop for them, and maybe he smelled a weird smell on it. Mine came like doused in a cologne that I I had to leave it outside for a few days <laughs> to get rid of it. Like it was not a smell that I was pleased with. I don't. I like very subtle smells when it, especially when it comes to cologne. So, you hear that, Luke? Steve. <laughs> Steve Claire, yeah, dude. Steve, Steve Claire, are you uh, are you ready to come up onto a live yet? Yeah, Steve, you know you got an open invite anytime. Oh yeah, I found, yeah. A, I found a flaw with this Panzer. I don't like. I can What's feel that? the blade through the back spacer. Oh, like sometimes through... when I close it. I was like, feeling something. It could feel like a sharp, like snap, and I realized the edge of the blade sticking out just enough. It doesn't stick out, but like the fat of my meat goes right in there, and I can feel the blade. You can touch it, huh? Noise. See, there you go. Oh, by the way, Steve. Uh, that thing we talked about, I sent it to you today. You know that thing? Oh, Shane, Shane, you didn't need to do that. We're already friends, brother. Will Baker made the oh. Okay, okay. Well, it doesn't. Mine doesn't smell. All right, again, I can't. My, Mine didn't smell. My sinuses are all messed up. Mine came from Luke. Yeah, I was not digging that that cologne at all. Brian was my my proxy. Shout out BEDC. Shout out BEDC. <laughs> <laughs> Recipe street drugs. <laughs> oh, remember the good old days when we just had to worry about cocaine? <laughs> it was the good old days. Yeah, serious. Mama sang a do sleep, but now we're stressed out. I watched the movie Wonka today. It was a musical. Oh, really? The new Wonka. The Johnny Depp? Or was there one after Johnny Depp? Oh, well, there's a newer one. Oh, yeah. It's a prequel, right? It is a prequel, yeah. So you had the original with Gene Wilder and then Johnny yeah. Depp. And now this one. It wasn't bad. I liked it. Okay. They had a lot of Easter eggs for the original one. Yeah, I, I saw like a, a reel on that. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but I did like some of the songs were like straight from the original. So it was okay. Yeah. Winchester, that's exactly how I felt. Okay. Oh, yeah, that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Cole made that. Right? Or it's a man of many talents. I believe Cole made it. CPM. All right. So I got to put it back on just for CPM. What up, Steve? Work up? a knife. Balance. Balance. Work a knife. Balance. <laughs> Hello. It probably helps if I have this close to my face. It does. Nope. Nope. Copy alert. 
Does it help if I do it like this? Yes. Yeah. We, we love it. We love the close-ups. <laughs> I'm, I'm still wondering what Timmy did with all his balls. <laughs> you know how many people I've pissed off over the years with yeah. that story? Uh, <laughs> add one more to the list. Yeah. I was like, God, wrap it up, dude. And like, what? <laughs> That's the payoff? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but... <laughs> CPM, what's up, CPM? <laughs> Doom two was awesome. Dude, no, today that that was a that was a good episode of Snack of a Steve. I was I left it and I was like, I think I've had a different snack every single time. Yeah, you have. <laughs> So. Snack with Steve. Snack with Steven. What is it was, that? Uh, my lives. His, his, his late night. He's always got snacks. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be snacking with Steven. Yeah. I literally left work today. One of uh, one of the coworkers I work with, I had a Kirkland like chocolate covered ice cream bar with almonds, and oh. then I had some jelly beans in my pocket. And they were like, our boss is literally 12. Our boss is 12 years old. <laughs> I was like, yep, 100%. Uh, we picked up that bag of Australian licorice from Ooh. Costco that you had. Mm -hmm. It didn't last a full day in this house. Nope. Dang. It's good. It's so good. <laughs> I love that the Australians were like... <laughs> It's mango and I think strawberry. Oh, apple, green apple. apple, green apple. Holy crap! Where do you? They're just like little little chunks. And they're it's like all it's it's healthy candy. Yeah. Dude. Kyle, they're not pre-approved snacks. That's why I keep them at work and I eat them on the drive home. <laughs> you don't know Australian licorice. Oh, it's it's like, not real Australian though, because we, no. we asked. Yeah, <laughs> and Josh Worth was like, "It's a bunch of bullshit." Yeah, I was like, "Hey, Josh, is this real Australian?" He goes, "No, it's bullshit." What brand was it? <coughs> Australian licorice. Australian licorice. Yeah, we used to get the stuff called Kookaburra, and that was from Australia. The Kookaburra stuff is from Australia. This is just called Australian licorice, and it's just yeah. soft licorice. But it's like the same thing, like yeah, like that big, real chewy, and oh. Yeah, it blows out the great pile of water. I've had the wily wallaby stuff. That stuff's pretty good too. But is is this the one? Let me share my screen because, dude, the, all also, the flavors you mentioned are ones that I love. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's it. Daryl Lee. Heck yeah. No high fructose oh, corn syrup get, too. Yeah, it's like all plant based and mm -hmm. it's good. Heck yeah! All right. Ooh, and they also have a sour mixed fruit. Oh, I didn't realize that. Sour would be good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sharif about to get some. Is that one filled <laughs> with stuff? It looks uh, like apparently. I don't know what it's filled with, but tastiness it's got like creamy centers yeah add to cart australia is just called licorice <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why that was so funny <laughs> australia just called licorice <laughs> isn't that nuts though that there's a legit kangaroo farm just right up the road from your house I, I couldn't believe, I think you mentioned it like maybe a month ago and uh, we were just looking because now that it's getting warm up here, we were looking at like, hey, how many campsites are nearby that we could like go to for the weekend with the kids and just throw a tent up and have a, a so couple many. nights. Yeah, so within many. within like 15 minutes, there's so many and they're all so was like, sweet. And so and as I was looking, I was like, oh, hey, kangaroo farm. And then I Googled it. It's literally like three to five minute drive from the house. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, we've really? got to do this warm too yep yep Dude, and they I also like have it. they have lemurs there too that's cool 
in a couple of donkeys. Gross. Maddie, the, the Tucson's new. The, the just had a baby elephant. Gross. Mm -hmm. The Tucson Zoo just had a baby elephant because we were members of the zoo, so I still get their emails, and they were like, "Hey, we just had a baby elephant." Nice. Yeah. Oh, where are the <laughs> I'm <laughs> Singapore. Uh, <laughs> Hello. CPM with the deep cuts. <laughs> um, I uh, I found a, a pile of knives today that I for, forgot about. Uh, and one of them, Steve Claire, uh, did you did you pull the trigger on that trade with Carco for your master blaster? Ooh, for your master what? <laughs> blaster. <laughs> it's it's the Ferrum Forge Les George uh, collaboration. This used to have this is the uh, lightsaber edition. This used to have a red nano ceramic coated blade on it i had the ceramic coating removed uh but steve claire uh i think carco got one in on trade and it's the green lightsaber uh edition so it's got a like green nano ceramic coated blade and steve was eyeballing that that's cool heck yeah man steve's awesome man I can't wait to meet Steve in person one of these days. He's a good. You know, our zoo, well, we have two. <clears throat> we have the Phoenix Zoo. But I hate that one. We have the Wildlife Zoo. <clears throat> that one's actually a rescue zoo. Yeah. So that zoo is awesome. There's the there's a really, really cool aquarium like north west of Phoenix too. About an hour. It might be the Phoenix Aquarium. I don't know. But we never got to go when we were up there. But it has like penguins and like sharks and sea turtles and some supposed to be some really cool aquarium. Probably the wildlife zoo. Might be. We went to the one like that's by the Legoland in the mall and I was like, this is not, not the aquarium they were talking about. Yeah. That was still cool, but it was they were like, No, it's this big outdoor thing. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... Steve Clare, if you're uh, not digging that blow rock anymore, you let got me know. I think he axed the blow rock a while ago. Oh, really? Okay. What I'm late. This? The master blasters in the mail. No, the whole collection is in transition. Yeah. Filtering out. Steven got to see it. I did. There's some really nice stuff that, well, there was some really nice stuff. There'll be new really nice stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Claire has exquisite taste. Mm -hmm. He definitely does. I still have one of yours, Steve, too. Does, mm. that mean, does that mean the RSK? No, I think he still got the RSK. I, I will sell my <laughs> body to get that if he gets rid of that. Did you say you'd sell your butt? I will yeah. for that RSK. Basically, <laughs> that's what he what he said. <laughs> I will lay up my butt. Oh, whoa. Damn. No. RSK is gone. Wow. You that's why like you couldn't walk straight for a week, Maddie. Your mm -hmm. lower back was hurting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did it for nothing. Did it for <laughs> RSK is gone. Dang. What up, Brian? How you doing, dude? What's up, Brian? <laughs> this thing turned out so good. It is... <sighs> Mm, nice. I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see the topo lines underneath the the blue and the teal and purple still, and it looks it looks really cool. Sick, dude. 
I wasn't sure how I would like this knife when I originally got it, but I, I really like it. I have not been, gotten to handle one yet, actually, but both of these dudes... Er, er, yep, er, there we go. <laughs> both of them love theirs. Yeah. There's only one guy who I didn't think loved his, which was uh, Ethan. Or was it a different knife? No, uh, what knife? The uh, rock ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ethan got rid of his. Yeah. I still have mine around here somewhere. Oh, it's out there because I carried it. I wanted it to be unique, so that's why I sent it to somebody who could do something unique to it. Mm. I started to watch that video from Just the Tip EDC. I got it saved to watch. I, I went through bits and pieces of it as I was driving. And you I mean, it. not while I was listening to it. I wasn't watching it while I was driving. But um, yeah, exactly. So I got a new mount for my phone right above my steering wheel. So do I. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I roll. But um, and uh, I did not realize it was going to be an hour long video, but like it's in depth. And I was like, that is it re it's cool that it shows the process. And it's cool that it's my knife that I'm like, this is sweet. I know exactly what he's doing with it. Yeah. So. Dude, we got to take I don't know if you guys mentioned this earlier, but we also got a shout out Donnie Bless, man. He got his uh, knife in the hands of uh, transparent knives. Nice. And oh, did it make its way there already? Yeah. And he posted about it earlier. And Brian is not a guy who is easily impressed by any means. And he was taken with uh, with Donnie Bless's work, man. Nice. So, Good. Yeah, dude. No, like his his post was was if you read between the lines, he, like it's not his style of knife or size, you know, but he was impressed with the work, you know. So, and he said it was surprisingly refined, you know. That's so good. That's awesome, Donnie. I'm I'm so happy for you, dude. That rocks. Yeah. Especially the amount of work he puts into his stuff. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, one of the things I had said about it, uh, something that I had uh, similar feedback for uh, Scott Stills, Edgy Blade Works, mm -hmm. that they put customs that have a production feel to it. Yeah. Um, and I mean that in like a, you know, it's a shout out to their skills that. You know, because a lot of customs can be rough. You know, they they really can be. Uh, Heck yeah, Donnie is a he's a bad man in Jamba. I'm uh, that's that's numero uno on my list for Blade Show. Heck yeah, yeah, that's yeah. dope shit, Donnie. Proud of you, man. You've been putting in that work. Boat show. I'm trying to make it to Blade Show with still knives left on my six list. <laughs> Dude, Black Star, I'm definitely down. So I'm trying to do things like, like I got this one through a trade, and I was like, that doesn't count. I didn't buy a knife. I traded for a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's the loophole, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Not adding a knife to the collection. Dude. Yeah, anytime you want Black Star. And dude, Donnie, we gotta we gotta chat, bro. Oh dude, like anytime you want, I'll make the time for you. So just let me know what your schedule is like. 18 months. Blue. What up, Blue? Blue! 18 months, holy guacamole. Oh, yeah, I haven't even said that. Illuminati Brian and Brian. <clears throat> I was watching Brian 
make some of his glow stuff. I just realized the Phoenix and Bigfoot are on a piece of pizza in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, also, I got to say, uh, tonight's new thumbnail uh, was inspired uh, by the words of uh, one Patina Turner. I don't know if Patina's lurking. Where you at, Cletus? <laughs> but, uh, we were having a lot of fun with the meta AI. <laughs> and it, it created that, and then I had to keep it going. Voss is Das. This is Brian F. making some glow oh, stuff. Is that a striker? Cool. He got this really powerful glow. Yeah. Wow. He said one piece lasted like uh, overnight and it was still glowing bright eight hours later. He got some uranium. I don't Ew. know what he got, but I've never seen glow stuff last this long. That's sick, dude. <laughs> but he's turning it into his uh, strikers. Heck yeah. So keep Bunch an eye out for that, though. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everything Stevie says is straight bullshit. I don't know what prompted you to say that, but I tend to agree. It's scrolling oh. along the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I got some other bangers. Like that he's bright green. <laughs> there, there's some other bangers that he's got preloaded too. <laughs> Stevie's been reading. <laughs> yeah. Who taught Stevie how to read? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I don't want to show them. Oh, Illuminati. <laughs> you little mofo. <laughs> All right, who got it? I'm always scared. Clarence and Betty Davis Farrell Rod. One moon got it. Is that no, uh, I... people? <laughs> people that you know? What? The Clarence and Betty Clarence. Davis Farrow. Is that like a channel? I don't know Clarence and Betty Davis. <laughs> you don't I know Betty Davis? Clarence Davis, Davis and Betty Davis. They must be a couple. I know Betty Ford. Does it say Betty Ford? Or does it say <laughs> Betty Davis? <laughs> That's cool. Does it say Betty Ford? <laughs> Is that what you're reading? No. Then let's not talk about it. <laughs> Not even eating some of that sassy gay sandwich again. <laughs> oh, man. God, what did that say? <laughs> Dude. Brian, I, I'm sure I love it. All I want you to be is honest. Give your honest opinion. That's all that matters to me, my friend. You know. Uh, I do. Believe it or not, actually, I get really shy about watching or seeing anything about my own stuff. So it, it like takes me a day or two after it gets released to like get up the courage to like watch any reviews you i know? can't tell if Shree's talking about his knives or his private videos <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> the answer to that is absolutely yes <laughs> mono's all right though it's okay yes i have right. come back <laughs> there in the community okay okay uh Tina said can you serve that sass <laughs> so AI was acting rather sassy yeah and uh Tina said can you serve that sass in a gayish sandwich to satisfaction 
and it came back oh honey i've got a sandwich for satisfaction that's so gay it'll make a rainbow jealous <laughs> it's a fancy serving of e eeyore approved fabulousness with a side of sparkles and a sprinkle of glitter enjoy darling <laughs> it didn't have like nails in a heart or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> I got a sandwich for satisfaction that's so gay it'll make a rainbow jealous. <laughs> hey, I wrote that. Hey, I wrote that. <laughs> oh man, I um, love how AI complains and talks about being as inclusive as possible. <laughs> and then it writes yeah. that like. <laughs> If you guys don't know, like it, it's like pulling teeth to get the ethnicity you want out of like AI, right? Mm -hmm. so it always replies like, "Oh, you know, I I, I was well, be inclusive," and and then like we noticed the other night. Sometimes that's literally all we do for like an hour is just communicate through AI memes, yeah. <laughs> and we kept. Me and Daddy were stuck on this one last night. We kept saying more farts. And every time we said more farts, it turned the people Asian. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> like, Daddy's like, AI thinks farts mean Asian. <laughs> and then we'd be like, add a bow tie to them. Then they'd turn white again. Yeah, and then he would be like, fill the room with farts, and all of a sudden they're Asian again, and then it, it kept doing it. <laughs> Out of both yeah. ideas, more farts. It's got some learning to do. Definitely. Ultimately, we ended up with these creepy old ladies with purple hair, covered in marshmallow goo, and <laughs> taking a bath. And Harrison, with giant hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All I think of when I when we're doing that is that meme of he's probably texting other girls, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that uh, tickle your fancy? Oh, why is the lobster so creamy? It's so exactly. creamy. <laughs> <laughs> AI is uh, something else. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I made this character. Yeah. And oh, what was sure. hilarious is me and Maddie instantly zoomed in on the same thing at the same time. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Such nightmare fuel, man. Oh, man. Hey, AI is something else. I'm uh I'm sharing some of the pictures. Any night be the other night. Uh did you notice Maddie's reel today? <laughs> that he posted subliminal messaging. <laughs> uh, you nobody commented on that at all. I, I didn't want to blow it. <laughs> I knew what it was though. Oh no, I gotta see it now. It was <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, forgot about, I forgot about that one. Good night, Chris. <laughs> We were trying to find like a good logo for Maddie. <laughs> kind, of, kind of like that one. Yeah, that's the one I saved. Yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> that one's epic. This one's epic. <laughs> Cheeto Bandito in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Custom stuff for making wish. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're Stevie and Petita. <laughs> That's Petita, all right. The, right here. This is Petina, for those of you guys who don't know. Yep. <laughs> this is what started. That's the, what uh, started it. Yeah. Yep. We kept adding Everybody. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the thumbnail started forming. <laughs> uh, Patina with her jazz cabbage. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he said, no, put it on. 
Put an airbrush it onto a van. Airbrush it on the side of a van. <laughs> and it came out perfect. Right? <laughs> it turned Eeyore into a wizard and then airbrushed it on the side of a van. That's awesome. <laughs> Sharif, packages wow. in the mail. I think it'll tell you how much I love the Kaimano. Oh, thank you, Ed. You rock, yeah. dude. I appreciate it. Kaimano's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, there, those are just some of the, the photos I saved from one of the AI sessions. <laughs> yeah, it was uh it was epic. Oh god. I think I shared that pickle restaurant with Stevie. Huh? Where is it? In Philadelphia? Oh, let's go. <laughs> cherry flavored pickles. Well, hey, are, you, are, you, are you not man enough to just send it to me directly? <laughs> Brian? Huh? huh? Do you want everyone sending you them directly? I've been kind of an intermediary, but I will step aside and let them all put you together. Some fucking weird pickle curator? Yeah, people message me all the time. You're, you're you the pickle man. Oh, I think Stevie will think this is funny. <laughs> you should show this to Stevie. That actually at daily. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell you. I mean, Keith, Keith can knife Keith drink a load. Keith follows like every single pickle account now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nonstop. <laughs> Keith and I freak is the worst. <laughs> Literally, it's nonstop pickles with Keith. But I get it's it's a daily occurrence, <laughs> all day, every day. I'm so oh, proud of the community. <laughs> proud of it. Stevie's looking for a way out. <laughs> you know, no, Stevie might be being sarcastic. <laughs> the opposite of last week. Stevie? Sarcastic? No. Nah. Word? Don't believe it. <sighs> Who are you talking to, Shane? Chicken fried steak. Oh. I've been watching that sounds this. delicious right now. I had the... Chicken I got it. Oh. oh, by the way, Sharif. Yeah. yeah good. I think I'm going to have to take a heat gun to this. This wow. pivot is loctited to all get out. You can you can loosen it. Like on all of them. It's tight, but don't be afraid to use the T8 and apply like slow constant pressure. Oh trust me, I have. You did? Really? Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna have to take my heat gun to it. Okay. Cause but, yeah uh, the, the only reason why I say that speaking of chicken fried steak I dunked it a little too much. I got in there a little bit too messy. With it. I definitely, I got some uh, gravy up in the. It doesn't affect it any, but I want to clean yeah. it up. There. Before it starts smelling funky. <laughs> I mean, you can always do what I do, and like that's just I, I, I got like some water and some air, you know. Yeah. Oh. Visalia is not that far away from me. Dude, the uh the walk the driver. He's near uh, are, are breaking in. The impact driver. Yeah, you like it on the washes? It's it's I'll tell you what it's not as fidgety and kind of nice as just and snappy you know and drop shutty as on the bearings for sure you know uh, but it's definitely getting to that like smoothed in washer feel like it took a few days you know. Did you polish them at all or strop them at all? I did. Yeah. I did. I definitely did. And I've been constantly tweaking the um, the pivot tension, you know, and trying to just maintain centering and, you know, 
all of that stuff. So it's, um, but they're working in. It's nice. I want to try some. What's up? Go to that link and cast a boat. I want to see if it works. Everybody. I'm sketchy. In the... It's. I made a pole. I, I don't like handling your poles. You will handle it, and you will <laughs> tell me how you like it. It's a very Best. basic pole. Oh. Best vintage pole. I mean... Have to put other? You did put other. Okay. I, I understand the question, but it's like saying, what's the best food? Well, this is more just to test the website. Just to test the website. We'll see how it works. I'm going to go. My vote was successful. Maybe I should put favorite blade shape so Stevie would shut up for a second. (laughs) Wow, instantly. I'm not even surprised. I'm just got to figure out how many... Can I do multiple choice? I turn it off. You only, do option. only do one. No one. If anybody's choosing reverse Tanto. Here we go. Can this I, is what it looks like on my end. Oh, I can That's do it live. Well, it's live results right now, so we can watch it change. Yeah. There we go. Just another <laughs> vote for a sheep's foot. I'm oh, just testing it. Drop points winning, but I'm the only one that voted Warncliffe. I voted other because I know it's going to change. So other to me is all of them. <laughs> Everybody's my favorite. <laughs> Everybody gets a gold star. <laughs> Drop points winning by two. I'll just test this website, but uh, you know it might be kind of. I like watching it live, though. You get to watch this pie graph change. I'm curious. What are you curious about? Nothing. Go to this straw poll if you want to start one. Straw yeah. Poll. Ah, oh. dang it. I tried to vote again. It says, you already voted on this poll. You oh. There's a checkbox that you could put. Like, let people do more than one or just one. And I had just one because I knew people would be like, all of them. I didn't think that. Which one of you voted for Hawksbill? I know. I'm willing to bet I know who voted for Hawksbill. Probably somebody who likes Hawksbill. Yeah, I'm willing to bet it was Cole. There's lurking Cole. Yeah. I hope hope it was Cole because that was my guess. You know what? I'm voting Hawksbill. I can vote. There we go. I don't don't think you should, though. That's kind of like biased. (laughs) I think you should. (laughs) <laughs> I can't vote, but should you? I don't know. That's... Hold on. We, you need to show us ID first. Yeah. I love that nobody voted reverse. No. That you know, was that last year, the year before the reverse Tonto was like... Everybody was doing a reverse Tonto. Dude, 2018, 2019... 2020 were like years of the reverse Tonto. And now I'm, nobody cares. It's I will say I'm actually surprised Warncliffe is down here. I thought it would be above Sheep's Foot. I'm not, because people like more of a belly than that flat edge. Yeah. The Sheep's it's Foot can point. also be flat edge. I like just my, more. I, like, I thought the flat is where it was Warncliffe, and then if it has Warncliffe a little bit of a belly. goes at the top and then down. Sheep's foot curves. curves. But the bottom, the blade edge is straight. It, You know, the, the other reason why, like, reverse uh, Tanto is, like, surprising that it's not, like, doing better. You have stuff like the Benchmade Osborne, the, you know, the Wii vision fg the snacks knife you know uh you've got like the kershaw leaks some of them are reverse tontos uh i know so many people though that look at this and they go oh that's a nice drop point because they don't understand that this is the reverse yeah yeah the what 
what I don't get is how come on all reverse tontos they don't sharpen the the actual point you know the the secondary so it's you know most tantos have a sharpened you know point but they don't do that on reverses yeah they don't do the leading edge leading edge that's what i meant to say yeah good question i mean like if I... you had a custom maker they would do it but like yeah even <laughs> sticker <laughs> even like that that's like a reverse tonto ish blade you yeah. know so i've done yard sales recently and often we usually do about a yard sale a year the worst part is putting everything out and then dragging everything back in yep i will say if you're not attached to it and you're at a point like we were moving so i was like if i don't sell it i'm gonna have to move it or get rid of it and i didn't want to move it so i got to a point where i was like if someone comes up and just steals it i'm not gonna care because i don't have to worry about it so i priced things at like two dollars five dollars and it was a true like yard sale garage sale and everything sold we had so much yeah, like, clothes, clothes that people came up was like hey i'll give you five dollars to the bucket and i was like i'll take four and they yeah. took it <laughs> that's pretty much what we've done or we literally just put stuff out for free yeah i'm gonna go or, at the end of these and uh start stealing stuff then or <laughs> or what you can do is uh search facebook for someone else who's doing a yard sale and then i was like hey I've got a bunch of stuff that I don't want to sell, but I'm going to throw it away. Do you want to come pick it up and sell it in your yard sale? And I've had people come pick up stuff from my garage and sell in their yard sale. Nice. I I also feel really bad about this, but there was one year that I was selling stuff in the yard sale and I was selling two sets of Bluetooth headphones for like a PS4 that you, they have like a little plug-in that you put into the USB and then the headphones are there so you could talk and listen. And, um, I lost the USB part, so the headphones were useless. And I put them on the table for five dollars, and this old lady bought them for her grandson. I was like, "They're five bucks for two of them. You can have them." Nice, so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go relieve my bladder. <laughs> my bladder, you guys know what I really mean, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> leave that butt. I love when Stevie leaves. There's another picture of Maddie. I'm always here. Now that he's gone, we create so many banners. Do it. Ah, oh, dang it. Hi, Stevie. <laughs> still there. No, do it, Maddie. Well, now it's not like, it. no I'm fun. Pooping. I'm pooping. <laughs> You know, it's funny when I was driving home and I kept seeing they're like, oh, I'm pooping. No, I'm not. I was like, Maddie's there too now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the thing he tells me. I'm pooping. Oh, Matt's there. All right. Yeah, cool. Ian, don't apologize. It's all about helping people out. These guys know better than I have. I, when it comes to like, when I got to move and get rid of stuff, I just end up donating a lot of it. Like I'm too antisocial to have like a yard sale kind of situation. You know, I don't want to talk or haggle with people. Question for all of you who put drop point. Why? <sighs> There's another other. Why did you put drop point? Where's my other brother? I mean, it is the most, like, <laughs> generically useful blade shape. Yeah. I just, I don't know, man. I'm like, would you, okay, so technically, you know what we really needed in here also was, like, clip point. Clip and point. That would have been a good one. Yeah, I would have been really curious to see clip point uh, because, like, 
<laughs> I, I, my, my third design is a clip point. I should have, man. Like, okay, well, you guys can't see me, but like the Devo Knives Growler is technically a clip point. Like this blade shape, but it's really kind of drop pointy in its nature. It's also yeah. kind of a reverse Tonto. A yeah, little I wouldn't bit. Call that a clip point. That's reverse Tonto with a big old belly. No, reverse Tonto never has that much belly. Like, no, it doesn't, been... but it's got a little bit of that angle on the backside. Like, this is clearly reverse Tonto. Like, like all day. Yeah, see, and that's David Hoka. Like, that's kind of where I'm coming from. Like, I'm a very big clip point fan you know i like, like quick points yeah because it's i don't know i like having the tip uh lower towards the center of the center line of your grip right and sometimes with drop points the tip ends up being about here and when i want to rotate over like i'm i'm getting like too vertical you know um, and I'm also not a huge fan of like belly like this. I like this knife a lot. I love the growler, but dude, all of this is like, <laughs> God, what am I doing? Who would you vote for? <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, Kyle, I've got rotator cuff injuries, my dude. <laughs> I'm allowed to bitch. All right. I was actually curious when Sharif would ever use his knife like that. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was holding it up. I was like, I'm not gonna use my knife like that. I put my sandwich. <laughs> no, like if I if I've got a, a box at like waist height, and I'm trying to cut the tape, I want to rotate over and get to the tip. So I can like pierce that tape. That's the use of it. There's right. Sharif talking about tips so, again. There, fuck you, lawyer. All right. <laughs> I don't know if Sharif knows how to use a knife. Why well, didn't you just do it like this? Like, ah. no, because then you risk over penetrating and cutting into whatever's in the box. <laughs> lawyer. Weird. <laughs> you got lawyered from the guy who cuts like this. <laughs> no, and that's why I love the Tonto because, boom, I can use that secondary tip, pinch, grip it, and pull. Yeah, a lawyer, you have a any knife with a belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sharif. Let's check our poll, though. Where are we at? Kyle, I can't wait to see you and squeeze you actually in my beefy adult size arms. <laughs> I want to know who the second other vote was. Yeah, who's the other? Who's the other? That was who's one. And did you vote other because in your eyes, other was all of them as well? Oh, Jay, you missed it earlier, my dude. This might be the other. I will, I will do, I will show you just for you, Jay. It was part of my outfit today. Pedro, I sent a pic. <laughs> Chore boy. I open up a package with whatever blade I'm carrying. How do you open that package, though? Demonstrate how you would open it. Do you go like this? Yeah, is that how you do it? <laughs> like this? <laughs> I, I, if it's got the harpoon on it, I get my thumb down in the poon right there. <laughs> you go backwards with it. <laughs> if you ain't cutting with the swedge, you ain't cutting at all. <laughs> all right, fine. I'm surprised you didn't put clip point on there. That's what I was saying. Or spear tip. I do love a good spear point.
That's the goofiest looking spider coat ever. Yeah, I don't like that spider coat either. It's got too much in the, it, that Emerson wave on the edge like that just makes it. I don't like it. I it's I agree. Much. Aesthetically, it's, it's all over the fucking place. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a but new pole. Knife. I love it. Yeah. Please go check out the new pole. Can I vote twice? You can vote as many times as you want now. Yeah. Might as well test that feature. <laughs> <laughs> This pull about to get hooked up. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I voted? <laughs> Look at the pie graph fly, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the live stream. <laughs> I wonder who the one vote for yes was. <laughs> but the astounding eight for suck it, Sharif, is uh, definitely in the lead. <laughs> You said we could vote multiple times. I was only able to vote once. Yeah, it says one oh. vote per IP address allowed. Yeah, liar. Oh, is there another check mark I have to do? Okay. I so need a new work. IP address. Either way, suck at your yes. <laughs> very strong lead out the gate. <laughs> I wonder who voted yes. <laughs> it's a mystery. I don't think we'll ever know the answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Total mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it's an anonymous vote. <laughs> this oh, kid here is being went fast. This, this poll took off faster than the blade shape one. Man, Nobody I mean, had to it. voting for this. It's because there were less options. <laughs> no. Yes, suck it, Sharif. <laughs> oh no. Did you change it? Uh oh, Noah's uh Noah's catching up just a just a little. Who else put yes? Sharif. <laughs> he voted on his phone too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, watch. I'll show you guys how easy this thing is to do, though. This is fun. Here we go. Let, let, give, me, give me another poll, Sheree. Let's do one for real. Hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a poll. I'm gonna share it right now. Oh, do you? Share, share it. Show your poll. Yeah, show us your poll. <laughs> it seems like it might get banned from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I have to let it <laughs> whoever voted yes ban them <laughs> does Marty stuck yes or yes <laughs> can I vote more than once <laughs> nope what if I don't like any of the options <laughs> <laughs> all the options that are available are available damn it <laughs> I'm curious which yes is gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vote for your favorite color. Oh, you it's can actually weird. vote both of them. It's a square, so you can click both yeses and vote both of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> vote for both. You already voted. Dang it. Yeah, same here. <laughs> right now it's at 50-50. <laughs> 50-50. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. Never know. How many licks does it take to get to the center? <laughs> oh, Ian, do you do you choose to uh, change the answer to this question? <laughs> Where does Marty suck at all night, right, Sharif? <laughs> <coughs> yes, yes. Welcome back, Zach Stuff. Nice Taco Bell room. I want to know what kind of clam chowder Pedro and Shane are talking about. Clam chowder sounds good. Is Shane talking about his clam chowder that he had when he was in the Navy, when he was stationed yeah. out in San Diego? He said, do you order the clam chowder with anything else? And he just get it natural. 
How many clams are in it? What kind of chowder is it? I've heard Shane talk about that chowder before. <laughs> Shane's still talking about the salad at the Churscaria in fucking Atlanta. <laughs> Man goes to a Brazilian barbecue, orders a salad. <laughs> Is it <so> <laughs> I thought you were going to hit your computer for a second, then I realized you were celebrating. <laughs> I mean, Sharif is a loserist. <laughs> he didn't say that. He Two said people good. did a poll. <laughs> At first, I was the worst, but then if somebody else did a poll, Sharif, and now I'm no longer the worst. (laughs) 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 But now he sells women's shoes. (laughs) Bundy. Exactly. That's the most expensive Caesar salad. <laughs> yeah. That, that Caesar salad was uh, more expensive than your uh, Manic scales. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I would say it's worth the money, though, because he still thinks fondly of that salad almost a year later. He, he does. Almost. I mean... He's chasing that salad high. He <laughs> might have peaked. <laughs> uh, that was an epic dinner. It was. All right, real quick. We're going to do a would you rather or impossible decisions. No, oh, I yes. love it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Did you ever oh. find your deck, Stevie? Uh, come again? Did you ever find your deck? Uh, I got about 10 more pounds to go. <laughs> Start peeking okay. through at about ten pounds. Here you go. Would you rather have permanent mosquito bites or a permanent sunburn? Oh, Ooh. mosquito bites. I'll, I'll defer to the paler people because I've actually never had sunburn. Oh. Based. Uh, I don't. I don't itch that, that much. All right? out with all that melanin, <laughs> freaking olive skin, baby. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's why I wear long sleeves here in the desert because I burn easy. Okay, so just need clarification. Would it be anywhere on the body? I, would I think assume... it's full body. Because I I can tolerate like sunburn for. It doesn't specify. Zach. Okay, so is it one mosquito bite? No, it says permanent <laughs> mosquito bites. So two bites. Let's assume it's all over. Like <sighs> arms and back. Like like where you could normally get a sunburn. Arms and back. Or just out of normal scratching distance. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. I'm still going to go mosquito bite. But oh, Jay, sunburn tough. does give you a good tan after. Mm-hmm. But this is a permanent sunburn. Yeah, you so you're away. always peeling. You're always red. There's no after. Yeah. You would be a perfect actor for the Oompa Loompas in the next <laughs> one. Bro. What up, Psycho? No makeup necessary. I'm always red. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, a lot of people think sunburn, but... Sunburns, you always feel hot. Mosquito bites are always itchy, but you can put like calamine lotion on it and stop the itch. Then you just got bumps. But sunburns, you still always feel the burn. Mm-hmm. But with calamine, you're always going to look, I mean, more than the rest of the panel does already. Pasty and white. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go with mosquito bites. I already look pasty and white. <laughs> Some are making your face go tight. Aloe vera can help, but once it dries, it's back to feeling hot. And you can't take a warm shower. It's always gonna be cold after that. 
Yeah, Ooh. I think I'm going with mosquito bites over being sunburned. I always take warm showers when I have a sunburn. I feel like it makes it easier. It like burns, but then I don't peel. Oh, are you a glutton for punishment? <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> burns so bad in the shower, but I'm just like, I'm gonna make it through, and then you don't peel because the heat draws the blood to the it surface. Your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You crazy? <laughs> there is no happy ending in this question. There is <laughs> Peeling is the best part. Yeah. But you don't get that in this question. You just always sunburned. What if it's a situation where like you start the day sunburned, by the end of the night you're peeling, and when you go to sleep you wake up the next morning like sunburned. You basic you're basically just a crustacean that molts every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You described hell. <laughs> Boys can play connect the dots. <laughs> I was out with these questions. <coughs> Snoozeville. Just be a permanent Spicoli. There you go. Be a cool surfer, dude. Mosquito bites on your sunburn. Oh. Yeah, that's making me cringe, dude. Wow. Oof. Yeah. Because you, you want to itch it, but you can't because it's going to hurt. Can't. Do mm -hmm. and what it, but what if you had mosquito bites on your junk and you just had to scratch it like constantly? You couldn't go out in public, you'd just be sitting there like, like all the time. <laughs> yeah, what you be doing? <laughs> Next, you ever question. heard the camp song? Got a skeeter on my Peter, flick it off. Uh, there's a skeeter on my Peter, flick it off. Yep, there's a skeeter on my Peter, flick it off. There's a dozen of my cousin. I can see them suckers buzzing. Got a skier on my Peter flick it off. <laughs> wow. You went deep with that one. <laughs> deep cut. The long lost second verse. Yeah. Would you rather have a pet dragon the size of a cat or a pet cat the size of a dragon? I want a dragon cat. Yeah. Dragon all day. Kidding? A dragon the size of a cat? Mm -hmm. Yes. With how cats hunt things, I would not want a cat the size of a dragon. Also, the box would stink. Here's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love big cats. It, it was. It's like when I was a kid, I wanted fucking black panthers <laughs> as like pets, and I've seen Russians that have them like in their home. <laughs> totally badass. But you're talking like a cat-sized dragon. Dragon wins every time. Would be cool. Yeah, oh, Kevin's going giant cat. Cats are like the most disloyal animals ever. There's been studies where, like, if a cat's with their owner and their owner dies within they two hours, eating, the cat's their, face. eating their face. Yeah. yeah, and I don't want that kind of animal to have that kind of power and strength. Oh, dude, it, you. That cat would be the reason for yeah. your death. Yes. Countdown until something pops day. up and starts yelling at work life balance. Wait, what? what Countdown until Vince pops. I know Vince is lurking. Vince is going to pop up. Anytime you hear someone besmirch a cat's good name. <laughs> Why are dogs so much better than cats? Dude. Like, his would rather be sunburned than be friends with Kyle. <laughs> Dude, even this little fucker right here was more powerful than you would ever expect. Like, and they had claws and everything. Like, bro, uh uh. That thing is going to eat you, it's going to eat you alive for sure. Hey, Brian F., I, I just want to put it out there. Dragons are intelligent fictional creatures. <laughs> they're, they're fantasy creatures. They're not real. No. We haven't seen any. There's none alive right now. Someone find me a dragon, and then I will believe they're real. <laughs> I have one in my cage over there. That's not fair. <laughs> Moto dragon it takes you 10 minutes to get hard you only get laid once and the other one that sits in your face is your mother 
Whoa. Huh? I missed the punchline. What's, what's the worst thing about being an egg? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of bad things about being an egg. <laughs> yeah, but those three things are pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is true, Space Ghost. <laughs> well, really, white tigers are inbred and live. <laughs> Space Ghost with the buzzkill. <laughs> David, we have one in that cage over there. Good night, okay. Kathleen. <laughs> All right, next question. Very valid counter argument. Next Fair. question. Would you rather be constantly gossiped about or never talked about at all? Never talked about. Yeah. You would just be forgotten. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'm all right with that. The emotional distress of, of like walking around knowing that you're constantly gossiped about? No. See, that doesn't bother me that much. I'm not good? that emotionally stable. <laughs> At least yeah. you're honest with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I'm I'm with you guys. Like I'd rather on some level to be like anonymous <laughs> but people talking about me doesn't <laughs> shoot for his current life <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. oh, gossip doesn't bother me oh. forget about you both are anxiety and <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> they are. You'd be you would be Fair. forgotten about. It doesn't say you'd be forgotten about. It says no one would talk about you. At all. Yeah. yeah. There's never lots of, there's, about there's lots at of all. people I think about that I never talk about. Yeah, I mean you'd still be in conversations with people, so people will talk to you. Mm -hmm. Just not about you. But as soon as you're gone. They can't You're be out. like, oh, that Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be tough. All right, we'll go to the next one. Let's see. I, I take it as you're so amazing, no one can talk about you because it's too amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> you just want to get rid of Marty. Bad things. <laughs> be for Baron, you got to go back to when I joined. Yeah, you, you, you got to earn that answer. Yeah. You got to earn it. Sexy voice. <laughs> this one hits too close to home. <laughs> that Winchester. All right, let's let's do another one then. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Would you rather eat a tin of dog food, or never be able to eat your favorite food ever again? Ooh. If I've already done one of these, a one it makes time, it a one time deal. I think it just says one time. Well, then, however you want to interpret it. Then the uh, food. I would eat the dog food. This question does not pertain to me because I've already done it. I've eaten a tin of dog food. Was it delicious? Yeah. It was absolutely delicious. I was really surprised at how good it was. <laughs> Look at Stevie's face. You're yeah, right. <laughs> no, no. Have you seen like? It Dude, was like one of the chocolate. real meat dog food things. Yeah. It, it was like good. A beef stew. I can yeah. I can no longer trust your opinion on things. <laughs> <laughs> Mad, and the Mad, spider fingers Mad, didn't Mad. give it away. You, you're you're worse than that freaking guy uh, that Sharif was talking to from Smoky Mountain Nightfall. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when he was going to come up tonight. <laughs> That's what that, I, I can no longer trust that opinion. <laughs> Oops, yeah, one time. It wasn't good at all. That's where you went wrong. It was cat food. Stevie, you gotta buy uh whatever your dog's name is, Bella or whatever. Ella. Like a delicious I forgot your dog's name all of a sudden, but some of the dog food looks like Ella. a good beef stew. So uh we order from farm or the farmer's dog and Ella eats <laughs> like legit it's I'm like, I should just be making this. 
you know it's yeah. like it's like high quality uh it comes freezer uh and then you defrost it but it's um i haven't eaten it but i have tasted it and it's not dis- it's not like oh man i want to have some of this but it's also not disgusting Dude, I, I mean, the answer for me is eat dog food. If it, I mean, if it's just a one-time thing, is that yeah. just says eat a can of dog food? Hell yeah! Hey. yeah. Y'all got me curious now. You, you and Stevie were talking about this live stream, and now Kyle, what happened on this live stream? I didn't watch it. <laughs> well, a guy that works for uh, the world's largest knife store is like, don't. Bu- There's no reason. I don't care what you say. There's no reason that you should spend like more than forty bucks on that. Convince yeah. me otherwise. <laughs> and really. it, it, I mean, it, that was the gist of it. That was the gist of it. He's like, yeah, he got in ten. ten. I know he seems like a nice guy, and he was taking everything in stride. We were, we were. It wasn't just me. Uh, oh God, Todd. dude! Like Todd, where are you at? Todd Carr was there for sure. Todd Carr yeah. Lefty came in. Yeah, the like, Lefty came in. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, and he was taking it in all uh, good nature, you know, so I yeah. got nothing against the dude. But I was literally like, I can't take this guy's. Uh, <laughs> I like that Cliff actually skipped back. And went yeah, he earned it. <laughs> uh but yeah i was like how i i didn't realize that that guy worked for smoky mountain knife works yeah and i was like of all people to be like tc is gonna see this and be like what are you doing dude <laughs> lives here man and that that's dude it was i think lefty said it best because like he's only been in the knife thing for like the last year you know it was either Lefty or I can't remember who said all it takes is one to like get you over yeah. that hump. When you find that one that like you're like, holy crap, man, I'm gonna spend Tony was there too. Is Bless still here? Yeah. You know, a lot of us were making the same point. And like you know, having a debate about it is yeah. Is he, he's also not wrong, but I, I said it and a bunch of other people said it. Uh, you don't have to own this knife. No. Because you can also own this knife. Yeah. You don't have you don't have to own this. But I want to own it. Right. Or right. You could My point was uh, because F you, that's why. Um, <laughs> And then there's the, you know, I just don't care what other people do with their money. But, uh, and like, Steven's got those three knives for eight bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, hey, guys, Ozark Trail, I don't care the whole supporting Chinese, whatever. Ozark Trail's knives, are, for what you're buying, good knives. I got those two five dollar crossbar locks yeah and they're great they're great knives they all right not just knives you get bits you get a little carabiner you get a sharpener you get the whole thing <laughs> i love that i love that stop whining stop whining um, what's up brother dude Stevie, that's why, like, I, I brought up with him the the car seat thing, right? Because he's a car guy. We've talked, like, behind, yeah. like, offline, like, a lot of uh, uh, you know? And it's like, dude, I know him. He's going to sit here, and, like, for his own car, he'd uh, want to spend $1,000 on a car seat. <laughs> right. But for your average person, the factory seats in the car are perfect. Uh, uh, Excuse uh, me, Bob. Sorry. Just ate some beans tonight. It's really running through me. Right. <laughs> oh, <love> it. <coughs> yeah. and, and dude, I, I said that to him, Shane. I was like, a rat does everything you want, but stop you know, whining. You know. 
<laughs> oh, that, yeah. That, that so that was the other thing. Oh yeah, he, he was talking about uh, originally. He's like, "There's this U.S. made knife. Uh, it's a it's an auto." Um, and he's like, and it was like ninety bucks. And we're like, "What U.S. made knife?" And he's like, "It was Microtech." And Luke's like, "No, that was Cobra Tech." And he's like, "Yeah, Cobra Tech. They're amazing." We're like, "All right, dude, stop." <laughs> and then he was like. Uh, he said the speed of this knives are the greatest knives. Don't you can't tell me the, the assisted knives are not the best knives ever made. And that's <laughs> Todd, Todd was literally like F you. <laughs> maybe it was a maybe it was a whole ploy, and Smoky Mountain Knifeworks has a ton of Cobra Techs they're trying to sell, and right? A ton of budget yeah. knives they're trying to right. sell. So he's on there getting everyone to buy their open inventory. Dude, I I loved it. I love seeing the community come out and like go after. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is he like, gonna be like, on every Thursday now? This thing pops. Yeah, dude, he's on. Oh, I'm on with him at, on CDC on Tuesdays, and then he'll be on my channel on Thursdays. So if you don't like this guy, why you have him on? No, he's a nice person. You know, oh, like, yeah. I'm I'm not saying. Uh, look. He, he seems like a very likable idiot. <laughs> He's gonna. He, he won't see this. No, I'm kidding. By the way, well, we have yeah. a few of those. Yeah, but Yo, he's a he's a very nice, nice, likable person. Uh, it's just that you know, uh, Look, uh, there's always going to be the argument, no matter what we're talking about, cars, tools. There's gonna be the people uh, yeah. that say that that order on the budget end and buy on the high end. Yeah, you know Pittsburgh Harbor Freight Power Tools versus a Makita. You know exactly, exactly. The same argument. Well, if I break my uh, Harbor Freight, I can just buy another, and I still it, it would you know I could buy five of these or one of these. Yeah, you know, but. My other point would be, so then there's the buy once, cry once thing, right? Yeah, exactly. And also, like, because by the time you buy all the budget stuff that's lower quality, yeah, you could have just spent. So we we talked about the McNeese. Yeah, I have a feeling, at least, maybe I'm just trying to justify my purchases. But I want to believe that this is going to outlast that five dollar Ozark Trail a thousand times longer, you know. Yeah. So you know, I would have to buy that knife, you know, a hundred times. Uh, I'd rather have just this one. I see nothing different. <laughs> Dude, I I I laid it out like just plain, you know. It's it's about the joy, right? Like yeah. if this shit brings you joy, it brings <laughs> fucking joy. Like yes. exactly. The boots and boogie, man. <laughs> like why do people buy fucking the desert or dessert warrior shit? Why do people buy the Boker Mermaid? Right? It it's fucking fun, you know? Like Maddie. it is what it is. Have you seen this from CJRB? I think so. What is that one called? I don't know. It's a Persian blade. That's all I know. Yeah, it's a Persian. That's oh, sure. yeah. it, it, it was only like 45 bucks. Because it's I their like Persian blades. Yeah. It's their like AR PM9 or whatever. Mm. It's actually pretty sweet. Maddie, what happened to the music? Oh, I stopped it with fart sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but then you know, it leads into uh, Mark Herrera is dagger knives. I don't know what dagger knives are. Ooh, they have been. They are. They're the ones with the, uh, they got the cool pocket clip that looks like a screaming face. <laughs> Screws go through the eye sockets. I don't, I guess I don't know that. Yeah. They're the Russian ones. They have some cool stuff. 
Dude, Space Ghost hit it on the head. It was hilarious when CPM yeah. chimed in. Were you there for that, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Matty, CPM chimed in, and he was, like, just straight agreeing with this guy on everything. And I was like, bro, because he doesn't know the people in the community. I yeah, was, like, because so he'd, he'd be like, you're right, CPM. And yeah. he would read his comments. <laughs> not realizing he was being trolled. I'm like, uh, bro, it's a trap, man. <laughs> I, I did get him to react one time because you guys asked him the question. Uh, you know, you could Thank buy you. a $20 microphone or you could buy a $200 microphone. Yeah. And then he starts going off about the assistant knives things. I was like, somebody mute this guy's $200 mic. <laughs> and he was finally like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, after the live, I was like, bro, you need to learn to, like, ignore the chat because they're going to just provoke you. He's like, no, but it gives me something to talk about. I'm like, bro, it's your name. You know. <laughs> the Gobi? Yeah, Gary shows the daggers. Yeah. I was going to find them, but I'm on their website, but it's not easy to uh, show a lot of their better designs. And Todd, before I forget, what's Second Supper? <laughs> yeah, also, Todd. there are the people out there that uh, we see, I think, more often than not, that will say, well, I, I just, I can't justify spending, you know, $200 yeah. on a knife. But they also own, like, $10, 50 knives. That's kind of cool with the mouth on the clip. Yeah, button. yeah and the like screws that? right through the eye sockets. And then the blade also has a little skull outline. But Gary, uh, he's the first one I've ever seen handle these. I think this is the first one I've seen. But they're, they're Russian. They're cool, though. They have a lot of unique designs. Yeah, definitely unique. I've never seen those. They have this one I want. It's huge. It looks like a, a dagger, but it's a certain kind of dagger. I forgot the name. Uh, Gary also has this one, the Rhino. <laughs> okay, I've seen that knife on Gary's. Yeah. This is their actual website. You order these from russia but they also sell on blade hq yeah but i did see that one i like i also bark i like that one the new buck i like that like color the yellow one these this is actually a really big knife that's cool how long is it um 10 inches 10.75 yeah, that's big. That's a big one. That is a button lock. What? what? Yeah, but it's only got one button. So if that button breaks, you're, yeah. you're kind of out of luck. Yeah. It doesn't have you're, five. No. Nope. You're you're up Crab Creek without a paddle there, so yep. <laughs> here's that one. I like this one. And this one is also really big. Uh, 12, 12, 12 inches. Foot. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Talk about a five dollar foot long. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, I like them though. They're cool. They're doing something different, and unique. Mm -hmm. Their style's not for everyone, but I dig it. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's just gimmicky. Oh, I it's like not VG10. It. it says VG10, but it's actually a D2 steel. <laughs> I mean, if that appeals to someone, cool. But it appeals to me. Those don't. That don't says think. right there. It's but it says uh, spear point blade made from D two steel, and then blade material VG ten. <laughs> I don't know. I just work here. Have you guys? Uh, do you follow 704 Tactical by chance? Oh, I was waiting for this to come up. <laughs> I was waiting. So I do. Uh, I've, I've followed 704 Tactical for 
uh, for a couple of years now. And uh, dude's got like, he's gotten up to, I mean, when I was following him, I remember his 50,000 giveaway. Sure, uh, I want oh, yeah, that that's a Max Ace, right? Oh, no, so Megaron. Megaron. No, Megaron. 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 Yeah, yeah. I Megaron want... made a Medford. Megaron made a Medford, pretty much, yeah. They Chunky. made a Midgard Messer, man. Ah, right here we go. All right, let's hear about the 704. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, just knowing who the guy is, but he did come out and he's like, I've started a new knife company, uh, you know, and it's 704 uh, gear or whatever it is. And he basically just, I, everyone's saying it's Savivi. I don't think it's Savivi, though. It is. Uh, One of them was straight up a Praxis. Yeah, ish. No. I don't think it was exactly a practice. It was I exactly think there, a practice. I know, and I think that someone else ripped it off. It doesn't mean that just because it looks exactly like Savivi doesn't mean it is. Someone could have easily copied that stuff. Um, but That's true. okay, I get what you're saying. Uh, but they are there's a gym like thirty dollar diet. And um, everyone's saying he's not disclosing, he's not disclosing where they're made. Um, no, he didn't mention that in his videos, but in all the comments, when people are asking him where it's made, uh, he's saying that they're made in China. So, I uh, knowing who this guy is, if you if you don't know him, all he does, I mean, he also thinks F and Grow. Uh, is an awesome company. He reviews yeah. effort grows and That's he's not, he's a tactical guy. He mainly, you know, tests a lot of uh, like firearm accessories and whatnot. But uh, yeah, he rebranded these things, obviously. And he's not selling them. They're only $30 knives. So it's not like he's trying to, but he is saying, you know, they're premium materials. He's calling yeah. it D2. Uh, and he's going, and this is a solid core Damascus. You yeah. know. Uh, so he's saying all the things that non knife people that collect knives are going to think is awesome. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's funny how all the knife guys were instantly like, <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You know, and it's dishonest and all that. I don't know. I don't know that it, any of what he is doing is dishonest at all, actually. But damn, man, he must be getting those knives for like to sell them for thirty. Yeah, they're, 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 for, like, six, they're six dollar knives. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. But like, he is also a dude. All the other stuff that he reviews is all budget stuff. Like it's all this so. Yeah. I would see stuff that he would post and it's the same people before I ever had a YouTube channel or was even in the EDC community. I was in kind of that firearm community. Yeah. Uh, that's where I discovered Instagram. And the minute you post a couple of things, you instantly start getting emails from these companies saying, Hey, we'd like you to try our pistol reflex site. And they're all the same. They all say, Hey, uh, you order this off of Amazon. Once you, we see that you ordered it, we'll send you the money via PayPal. I took them up on it. I'm sure you guys have all uh, had that type of stuff. Yeah. It's legit. It really is. You're That's talking to some met. dude. In, you, you, you're talking to some dude in, uh, you know, that speaks broken English. It's obviously who you're talking to, and he's reviewing that type of stuff, dirt cheap stuff as is. You know, so I don't think this guy, even if he is selling them for 30 bucks and he's paying eight, nine bucks, you know, he's not making that much money. Yeah. I mean, like, he, he was just, he just posted a video with this, you know, prism. And, like, I mean, dude, this thing looks like straight out of the 80s, you know? Uh, if you show oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, dude, this thing, yeah, 
literally looks like a 1980s EOTech, you know? It absolutely like, does. And yeah. then what? But he's also a dude that legitimately tests stuff. And yeah. there's stuff that doesn't pass the test. He'll be like, this is not worth your 30 bucks. Don't spend, don't be fooled by this. This thing sucks. Mm -hmm. And then he'll be like, hey, yeah, you can spend all sorts of money on an EOTech. He's like, but, you know, if you're a recreational, you know, you're if you're not the whole operator, you know, mindset, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that stuff. But all that stuff really is designed for more airsoft type stuff and ultimately like all those m-lock mounts and everything and all the uh all the the mounts that those things come with don't yeah. stay in the concussion after you know uh, after you've shot two or three bags through an ar um you know everything's coming loose you know yeah. none of, even with thread locker you know nothing is completely holding tight um you know but that's the type of dude that he is. So I'm not surprised by it. I'm not. It was just funny to see all the, the knife community get all up in arms about it. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious, honestly. I want to know if Todd Carr put the Doritos in the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, because that's what I used to do, and it was real good. You put the Doritos, yeah. like nacho cheese Doritos, in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, gives you a little bit of crunch. And you get a little bit of that cheesy flavor. Sounds weird, but it's delicious. Okay. Random, but not bad. Todd Carr had peanut butter and Doritos for mm -hmm. his okay. second dinner. I was actually curious about the homemade strawberry <laughs> pizza. And the homemade bread. The okay. only thing that I kind of did that was like even rem not like close to what you're talking about but when I was in like a daycare program when I was a kid, they used to give us peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and beef barley soup. And I used to dip the, the peanut butter and jelly in the beef barley soup and it was really good. That's the closest thing that I have to like a weird food combo. But dude, I was I was thinking about 704 earlier today, Stevie, and I was like laughing in my head. I was like, bro, like there's so many people who are like, oh man, you can't get anything like that. It's for the poors, like whatever, all this like judgment yeah. stuff. And it's like, bro, like some people want a 400 Palmetto State, you know, rig and well, yeah. just want to go have fun. Like that's it. Uh yeah. Yeah, uh, that's the point I made to the, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Overland. Yeah. We uh, see, uh, who's a cool dude. Uh, talked to him a bunch at Blade West a couple of years ago. Had uh, dinner with him uh, and Kevin and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I, I use that if you're in the firearm community at all, you understand the whole pores thing. Yeah. And, you know, uh, he's... 704 tactical is like the hero of that community yeah dude like not any not everybody needs to be ronking like a bcm like full kit with like freaking you know Daniel defense this and yeah like you know it's just... tim me you know two stage yeah this and or like a whole geisley rig you know like it's just it's yeah for somebody who's going and having fun, like you don't need any of that stuff. Like realistically it's speaking, true. if you're he going definitely to battle, does show his face. Yeah, he definitely does show his face. Yeah, if you're going to battle, then it's a different story. But like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, do people really want the PSA? Some people do, right? Like, there's a new PSA crank that just came out. I want it just as like a fun toy, you know, but it's, that's exactly what it is. I don't expect the trunnion to hold up to long-term abuse. I don't expect the barrel to hold up to long-term abuse. It's just to go to the range and freaking right. have fun. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, but I have knives like that. You know, that I just I want to abuse and have fun with. <laughs> I 
Yes. Yeah. Seymour. Yo. <laughs> I made you a sandwich. You made me a sandwich? Yeah. You made me a sandwich. Yeah, it's, I, it's right out here. It's ready to go. Can I see? see? Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you made that for me? Yeah, it's, that's for you. Oh, I love you. I take a bite. Take a fucking bite, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking delicious, dog. I, I fucking love you, dude. That's for you, man. I fucking love you, man. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> What am oh. I little, little skin. Of, all, of all time. <laughs> oh man. That guy that guy's still at it. He's still making videos too. Really? A lot oh, of yeah. them are funny too. They're <laughs> all they're all in that style. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> I saw one the other day where he's like ordering donuts. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's like, oh, I like that about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jelly ones aren't for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think you know somebody? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that's a, there's always going to be that debate. That's yeah. Always. That's never going to go away in any in any community. Exactly. That community always has that. I'm sure, Sharif, you see it in your, you know, the different car groups. Absolutely. You know, because you, know, you have the, you know, the the built, not bought groups. Yep. You know, and then you have the, you know, the, oh, this is just a showpiece. And, you know, you don't need all that. Yeah. You know, who cares at the end of the day? It goes back to what you said. Unless you look when you're talking actual self-defense stuff there's always going to be the argument just go through a liability if you can yeah. right if you can afford it but you'd also rather i'd rather have something than not have nothing exactly you know but uh for most of this stuff it brings you joy exactly exactly bro like <laughs> i i remember the first time i encountered it is when i went when I started playing paintball when I was a kid, you know, paintball is big at the time like that. Yeah, people used to like shame each other for like their gear, and so like I deliberately built the setup to look like a, somebody who's never played before, you know. And they would always put me on these like just like poor kid ass teams, and like I go out and just like lay the smackdown on people, you know, and. It was just to kind of prove the point that, like, you don't need, you know, $500 paintball guns and, you know, $300 masks and whatever other gear in order to be a good player. Like, you got to you gotta play the game. Like, that's it, you know? Like, yeah. dude, and that's when I used to play for, like, eight hours a day. Just, like constant games all day long you know all i needed to be a good player in paintball was freeze my paintballs then nobody wanted to play with me because i was so good winchester i should be i don't think i've gotten booted yet he doesn't use it he doesn't he doesn't hang with us pores <laughs> i don't check it because i'm usually on instagram all day but there's that dude devin Palmer, by the way I'm watching this donut one right now. But yeah, feel free to hit me up, Winnie. Uh, I will check it just for you. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> AKA kicking Mustang. Heck yeah. Yeah, man. Um, 
But yeah. Uh, wow, he really does have a lot of those posts. Jeez. Oh yeah, that's all. That's all he does. Two hundred and eighteen posts like that. Dang. Boy is working the algorithm. <laughs> it's true, Neil. I forgot. It's King Tut over here. <laughs> you are a real person. Isn't that ironic? It was I who built the pyramids. <laughs> All the whipping. All the whipping. Whip. <laughs> Whip it's good. God, I wish we could play copyrighted music. It would be so good to have that as like a sound clip. Like, watch. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I, don't know, I never monetized the live, so theoretically I could play whatever I wanted. That's true. How's that Manix breaking in, Maddie? Really good. Yeah. I don't know that I'll ever find out where it came from, but I, I uh, enjoy it. That's awesome, dude. Since no one came forward, I'm going to buy some scales for it. Cheeto got new scales for his Manix. Dude, got new scales for his Manix. Everybody that I know with a Manix, I you know, I got I got burlap. My card of mine. Um, I uh, I found a new scale maker for Benchmades and Spider Coves or uh, Spider Coves that's doing dope stuff. Actually, we got to see if I can track them down. Who? I don't remember their name, but it's not Applied Weapons Research or Applied Weapon Tech. It's not... Is it uh, it, no, it's not any of the usual uh, suspects. But the dude is doing sick stuff. I don't know, it was delivered from Blade HQ, but someone had to have bought it. I'm, I'm waiting for Lynch to start doing some. I just watched this movie guy video. It's pretty good. The Devin guy? Yeah, he's got one called Smoothie Guy. That was pretty good. And then I watched the Play Catch one, but that one kind of hits a little too close to home. The Play Catch one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is How could it be a mischief? Someone accidentally put in like Maddie's whole address and like <laughs> his name. It hasn't, and it hasn't come forward yet. Because Maddie I mean, had it just a, in his like shopping cart so long that they were like, he probably paid for it. Let's just send it out. I signed into Blade HQ just to see if like somebody used or like hacked the account again. It wasn't for me. That'd be funny if someone hacked your account but just started buying knives for you. <laughs> <laughs> they were paying for it? Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get him good this time. We're going to send him something cool. He's never going to know. This one's going to be pink and blue. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I like this mint color. Whoever did this chose a good color. Is that the mint color? Yeah. Yeah. Those and what's cool. the blade steel on it? M4. M4, right. Yeah, that's badass. Is that just pronounced mmm? <laughs> My smock is an M4. They called and asked for money? No. There's actually a know. law that says if you were delivered something, uh, you don't for it. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Yeah. If they ask me for money, sorry. I just sent it back. Uh, this got lost in the mail. I'd say send me a shipping label and I'll just send it back to you. Sorry, the shipping label never came. It was lost in the mail. Yeah, and then just keep playing with that. You could try sending another shipping label if you want. <laughs> I would never ship it back. They they hacked my card back in the day. They owe me. <laughs> or you could, or you could no, send them like a this and be like, is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? <laughs> but 
Yeah, I think someone at this point would have come forward if it was a mission. They'd get a hold of Blade HQ and be like, yo, bro, where's my Manix 2? And they're like, uh, we already mailed this to you, uh, Madisfaction. They'd be like, I'm not Madisfaction. You must have misshipped my knife. Like, I had Matthew H on the, on the box. That's my middle what? name. Matthew it said H. what? Matthew H. is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I when I had Blade HQ it was my first and last name, but like when I give my address to people on here, you give, say Matthew, you give me Matthew H, right? <clears throat> and it came as Matthew H. On Blade HQ, I'm registered as my full name. Yeah, so someone, yeah. <clears throat> That's the only reason why I think someone sent it or something. No, someone obviously did that. I mean, unless you you're secretly shilling for Lady HQ now. No. Are you? Oh, I got another random package from. Just gonna let you know, Maddie, that you're not doing a really good job at shilling for Blade HQ. Yeah. <laughs> if Blade HQ wanted to pay me to shill for them, I don't know. I might. They got money. Yes. This, this is not a very good audition, though. I got bills so, to pay. Um, there are what I will I know for certain. Uh, I think a lot of us under, know this. I know Zach definitely knows it. Yep. There's a lot of people that spread DSKFS that want to remain completely anonymous too. Mm. I mean, true. there were. Uh, I learned that uh, big time in the Jason Brown Memorial Raffle. There was like four different. Get from Paul Way. Uh, <laughs> oh, there, there, was like, there was like four different people that donated to that raffle that wanted to remain anonymous. Like, yeah. like last yeah. week in Lefty's Live when Paul Wang showed up, <laughs> and Lefty was like, "Hey, Paul, you're here. Can you tell us what's going on with Kaiser? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on with Kaiser, Paul? He was so great. And then I felt oh, bad. I, I haven't talked to him yet, but Lewis, uh, addicted to knives, was like, "Hey, dude, we should talk." And I'm like, "Totally, man." Because <laughs> Lewis doesn't know. He's <laughs> trying to get a knife made through Paul Wang. <laughs> By the way, Lewis has got a pretty dope design too. Uh, the the halt, the halt. Heck yeah. Paul Wang needs to double down, though. Paul Wang needs to double down. He needs to double <laughs> down. <laughs> Number one rip. <laughs> I, mean, I just yeah. love the idea of Paul uh, Wang going around getting Kaiser deals that they've never agreed to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wang gang. Kaiser reaches out to Paul Wang's email and like, hey, we, we don't know where to send your paycheck to. <laughs> we don't have you on payroll. <laughs> uh, also, it's kind of funny to have a inside but not so inside joke play out on the outside, you know? <laughs> yeah. On Lefty's Live, there was literally like, I don't know, just five or six people that were in on the joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and everyone else was like trying to talk to Paul Lang. It was awesome. It was hilarious. Oh, but not bowing and placing placing items at your feet. I've got knives I'm at your feet you. technically because the computer screens there's knives above, under it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't find this scale maker. I've been like rolling forever here trying to get it to pop up on my feed. That's, uh, it, when I find it, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Or show the dude to you guys. I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dang it. What are some it. other like funny 
people that you guys watch on it seems like everybody's always got their couple of people that they watch on youtube and i'm like i've never heard of that person and they're like what you've never seen this person and they're like so into them and i'm always finding out about you know they'll have like a million followers and i'm like i had no clue who this person was i love that conversation though you talk to someone i've never heard of that person and their response you've never heard of him yeah. Let me repeat what I just said. Yeah. I've never heard of that person. <laughs> it's like the phrase when people are like, enough is enough. You are correct. You're right. It is there. And honestly, it's hard for me to watch like a lot of other people. Like, I like to watch you guys and like the three of oh, you. I, I barely. I've, I've let it be known it's no offense against anybody for one I I would never watch my own stuff I don't watch my own stuff I don't watch a lot of knife content at all yeah I did it's a, no offense to anybody um, but there, there's so much other stuff that I watch I watch a like alright let's I watch weird stuff. I watch a lot of stupid stuff. I'm not gonna I watch lie. crime stuff. I watch a lot of crime stuff, like like dumb criminal stuff. Like this dumb criminal, look what they did. Yeah, that stuff's funny to me. I'm like, <laughs> you idiot, dude. You gotta watch, uh, or if you don't, like, you gotta check out Donut Operator. But I feel most people know him. Oh yeah, donut operators. Uh, I've been watching a lot of stuff on that Alec Baldwin uh, gate the trial that went on with the oh. armor not charged for the uh, manslaughter from the shooting <laughs> of the movie Rust that he was in. Oh yeah, yeah, which is crazy. Been one of them. Oh, yeah, me and me and Shane talked about her. He's awesome. Rust tries. Dude, I I recently started watching Oompaville, but I can't take him for the whole time. Like, he does long form, and yeah. he's really intense and high energy, and it kind of wears on me after a little while. I did a poll earlier today or yesterday, I can't remember, but asking, like, what not what people watch, but what what content like shorts, short form, like full length or like lives. Yeah. And granted, I don't have a ton of followers, so it didn't reach a ton of people. But the majority were either um, yeah, just a- I watch lives or short form. Like it's like less than ten minutes. I put the five to ten minute one. Yeah. I voted long form myself because uh, I I do. Uh, but what I found is like a lot of people that I would talk to in person, it actually took me by surprise. They'll watch the long form stuff and they'll put it on like 2x speed because their attention is yeah. That's what I do. I yeah. put it on 2x yeah. and then like if I have an hour video and a 30 minute drive, I'll watch the hour video in 30 minutes doing that. Although I watch all of Maddie's like three minute videos with mustard and cutting the pizza and I like those short three minute videos because I can watch it for three minutes and I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I get or that. Eli eating the sour candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ian, it, it's not Ar- Aramis. Uh, I've known about Aramis for a few years now, actually. Uh, this is my... I tried to get some of his bug out scales a long time ago. I watch a lot of these office best ofs. I have a lot oh, yeah. of those. A lot of First Amendment audit stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, war porn industries. Love me some war porn industries. I don't That's know what that group. is. I watch a lot of Barstool, One Bite, Everybody Knows the Rules. Oh, yeah. Watch a lot of wrestling stuff. Uh, um, <laughs> Mother was rubbing the cream for three hours. That, pop up. And then, yeah, a lot of this Alec Baldwin stuff. And then I listen to a lot of the Pixies. 
that's my two three day history i started watching a lot of the world chase tag it's just full grown men playing tag have you seen the ones where they it's it's that and then they also incorporate like wrestling and like they got to shove them inside like the giant tire <laughs> no that's awesome or they wrestle inside a car <laughs> it's like the first person to escape the car <laughs> I want to watch that. Dude, I kind of want to watch that. That milling on that last one. Yeah, yeah dude. Who is that? This is the guy that I was looking for. It's a Barclay CNC. Wow. That's and awesome. yeah, these scales caught my attention like hard. Those, those have to cost a metric. Yeah. F ton. Does he only do Spyderco? uh i haven't gone through his whole thing but like... yeah like he he does i mean look at these we are like so amazing cool. stuff man <laughs> 99 winchester sorry i've been completely ignoring the chat Yeah. Witty. I told you guys, this guy um, when yeah. fire stuff. Look at this. Is that who that is? Or or, or, Miss or Kupidolf? <laughs> no, no, no. This is Barclay CNC. Oh. <laughs> Barclay. Yeah. Um but yeah, so far all I can see is it looks like all spider co. Yeah, all spider co. Is this a message me books are open type thing, or is he an Etsy store? Where does he sell? Good question. Let's see. He does have a website. Uh, boom products. There you go. What is Some that middle soon? What's that middle one cost? I can't see that small. This one, one the or the top middle one. Top middle. Top middle. These are one sixty for a set of uh, Link Northwest Barclay. I was just gonna say, that's who that is. That's who's doing. Um, was doing some of uh, Link Northwest stuff. Okay. Um, oh, that's they, cool. yeah, now, right. now they're they've moved all their stuff in house, but I thought I recognized that pattern, yeah. I well, mean, I if isn't too bad, yeah. His prices aren't that crazy, honestly. Like, for this, for a, a color match Lynch Northwest clip and a set of scales for 160 bucks. With this amount of CNC work, I'm not mad at it, honestly. Yeah. I'm not mad at it at all. And it looks like he's got on those, it'll it says like shaman, PM2, PM3, like choose whatever spider code you want for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, because that's clearly like a PM, a pair of three, a freaking shaman. Mm -hmm. That's probably. A, looks like it could be a paramilitary too so yeah dude freaking guy is doing good work but i i'm fucking glad i was able to track it down this was gonna make me crazy all night our clay cnc I yeah this one. Yeah. <laughs> Space goes anti lag is the shit. I want I watch woodworking stuff. That stuff's soothing. I watch that usually right before I'm going to bed. I'm like, man, just the silent like woodworking. Some dude using hand tools getting it done. That's kind of cool. Heck yeah. And then I usually fall asleep like. Uh, I found this one website or one channel called Comics 
comic historian, comic historian or something, mm. and comic books explained, and they'll like retell like a you know a series of comic books that I've yeah. always wanted to read but never had the time, and he does them in like three four hour chunks. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, like long long form, and uh, or he'll create playlists like this series of. You know, uh, like I wanted to know the history of Teen Titans. You know, and he's got like a Teen Titans playlist, and I'll listen to that like when I go to sleep. It's kind of cool. What the heck? You're like now. And that's spooky. Elena. You ever guys watch that skit on Saturday Night Live, uh, the Californians? <laughs> and there's always that scene where they all like dramatically look into the camera, and then they all rush and go into the mirror. <laughs> Stuart, what are you doing here? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just get out of here. Go back. Get on the five. Until you turn to, you know, <laughs> all the California all the five. <laughs> at this at this time of day, he'll never get out of Laguna Beach. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, that? it's a balloon animal dog with a balloon animal poop. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. On a box of Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, that was my snack the other night. I found my box. I lost it, but I found it when I was out here. You got you went for the samosas. Yeah, there are their samosas. I know those purple boxes. Mm -hmm. They also <laughs> I also got a Girl Scout like from Costco. They've got they're like thin mints in ball form, and so you can just chomp on them. They're delicious. We got the thin mint pretzels right now. Ooh, chocolate covered mint thin mint pretzels. That sounds delicious. They are the exquisite. Well, Kyle, you can go get cookies at your local grocery store. Just go chase down some... the little girl outside and give her some money for some cookies. Go get some milk cookies. How many bags of those thin mint balls did I buy? It depends <laughs> on. The first time I went, I only bought one bag, and then I went back and bought three bags. One for work, one to finish the bag at home, and then one in my car for the drive. I snack yeah. hard. <laughs> snack hard. <laughs> Uh, takes a snack seriously, Maddie. I see it. I'm not an idiot. I've seen it the whole time. <laughs> Maddie's just having fun behind the scenes. It helps. It helps that I say I snack hard when that's there. Samosas. <laughs> Samosas are cookies. Samosas are champagne. Did I say so? Are also people. <laughs> Thank you, so. <laughs> yeah, it's one o'clock. Holy crap. Yeah. The starting light later. Forgot about. I didn't realize it was one o'clock. It's one o'clock. I got lots of yard work to do later today. <laughs> I gotta my work, weekend, but not till one thirty. My weekend's gonna be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right there, guys. And free my soul. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be packing those little parts kits all weekend long. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got debating what knife to carry yeah. tomorrow because I've been carrying this thing since I got it, but now that I got this back, I want to carry it. But I might just carry both because they're small. Nice, Sharif. Do you have to individually pack each one of those parts kits? Yeah, that's so sounds... you just got a bag of a what 600, 600 bearings 
Yes. You have to you pull two at a time out and put yeah. those away. Oh, Same shit. with all the different sizes of screws. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. And then the pocket you. clips come in like a sheet where they have like yeah. individual slots. I got to pull those out, put them in a separate bag so they don't get screw like scratched by the screws. Yeah. I'm doing that all by hand. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So forgive me. I may miss a, a so much every so much. much. But yeah. That's that's gonna be my weekend is packing those. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fellas, I'm ready to uh bow out. Good. Uh, I am high red. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need to take some medicine, get a little bit of sleep in, got lots of yard work to do Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not whining. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's never not funny. <laughs> It's never not going to be funny. <laughs> it's not. Oh, man. <laughs> I forgot about the goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Zach, are you live tomorrow? No. <laughs> Uh, JB is live. You're Sunday. That's right. <sighs> Which one is a goat one? What is that? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a nap. You want to take a nap? <laughs> I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. <laughs> I'm taking <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we're so we're not going to uh, end the live stream. I'm just gonna keep it on wet fart. <laughs> 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 <laughs>